Okay, so shit's about to get real. I just recently, a few months ago, watched a Tana Mojo, if you people aren't familiar with Tana Mojo, she's a YouTuber. I'm not going to get into her, but she did a video on conspiracy theories. And ever since I watched that video, I've been really big on conspiracy theories. And this one in particular conspiracy theory, I'm pretty sure that everybody has heard of it. And it's called the Mandela Effect. Now, the Mandela Effect originated from, um, I always forget his first, his first name, but, um, something Mandela, who supposedly died in prison, but that's not true. And like, he was like, just alive. And I'm pretty sure he's still living. He never died in prison. But there were like, newspaper, like articles and everything saying that like, he died in prison. And it's not, it's not true. So Mandela Effect is basically just um, a conspiracy where people, like millions and thousands, of, millions of thousands of people remember something being one way and it's not. So I have a list of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like 13 or 14. I lost count. Counted wrong. Mandela Effects that I strongly wrongly agree with that they are not right. They're not right. That's it's, they're wrong. They're false. They are false. They are unbelievably false. And I have one, two, like five items to prove to you that five of these are definitely false. It's not right. It, they're, they're just not, it's not how they, they, it's not how they used to be. So the first Mandela effect that I have been looking everywhere for a book or movie of it is Berenstein Bears. Everybody remembers Berenstein Bears as Berenstein, E-I-N. But if you scroll through your TV and look at the show that's on, if you look at old books, if you find a new old movie, it's Berenstein, A-I-N. No, it's not. It's not. And I remember watching it when I was younger. My mom watched it. My mom watched it with me. It's not A-I-N. It's not A-I-N. It's E-I-N. Okay? So that is the reason I brought that up first is because that's one that like everybody kind of knows the Mandela effect from that. So now we're going to get into some real Mandela effects, some of which I knew back when Tana did her video and some of which I just learned from a new video she did and from the internet. So first one I have up here is Kit Kat. Now I remember Kit Kat being Kit dash cat, like K-I-T dash K-A-T, Kit Kat. No, it's Kit Kat. There's no dash. It's just Kit Kat. And I actually have a Kit Kat here. You can see there is no dash. And there never was a dash. This is a relatively new Kit Kat, very new, from a bag of candy I bought a couple weeks ago. Not even a couple weeks ago, it was like a week ago. There's no dash. That's not right. It's, there was always a dash, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you remember there being a dash. Some people do, some people don't. There was a dash. So that brings the Kit Kat one. One that I just found out minutes ago when I watched another Tana video was whiteout. I used whiteout a lot in high school and before high school because I make mistakes a lot. And when I first started writing in pen, I was a perfectionist and every letter had to be absolutely written perfectly. And if it wasn't, it got whited out. So I remember whiteout being spelt like white out. W-H-I-T-E out. It's not spelt like that. It is spelt W I T E. Now I'm stealing this from Tana's video because I strongly agree with this, but why? Why would you make a product with the word white spelled wrong when the product is made to correct spelling? You make a mistake, you white it out. 
so that you can fix your mistake. The manufacturers made a mistake when they wrote whiteout the wrong way. And I actually have whiteout right here because I didn't believe this. And it is actually spelt without an H. There is no H. There never was an H. I just, I have no words for like any of these. And it, the, the Mandela effect has literally fucked me up so much. It's not even funny. And some of them fuck me up more than others. And it's just not okay. And I was just watching a video with the whiteout in it. And as soon as she said it, I ran around my house trying to find whiteout to see if it were true or not. And I also did that with a few other ones that I'm going to bring up very shortly. Actually, the next one is Rubik's Cube. I very distinctly remember Rubik's Cube being spelled R-U-B-I-X cube. Rubik's Cube. Anybody else? It's always I-X. It was always an X. Always an X. Nope. R-U-B-I-K apostrophe S. Rubik's Cube. No X. I did not believe it and I refused to believe it. I still refuse to believe it. I thought I had an original Rubik's Cube, but I don't, or I do, and it's just, I don't know where it is. But I have my Rubik's Revolution, which is probably, I wanna say from like 2008. And right on it, I don't know how well you can see this. It's K apostrophe S. It's false. That's not how it, I hate everything. It's not how it was. All right, an older one. That was a newer one that I just found. I actually pulled it, my Rubik's Cube is right by my bed. I pulled it out and I looked and I almost cried when I found out it was not spelled with an X. The next one is an older one that I knew and it's Febreze. I always remember Febreze being with two E's. When you spell Breeze, you spell it with two E's. So Febreze therefore is F-E-B-R-E-E-Z-E, -E -E. Febreze. It's one E. Since when was it one E? It was never one E. And I don't know, this is a new bottle of Febreze. It's a very new bottle of Febreze. 2012. Okay, this was made in 2012. Fairly new, but old enough to be messed with. It's not one E. One that I just learned from the Tana video. All the ones that I know that are new are from the Tana video. Rice Krispie Treats. I very distinctly remember Rice Krispie Treats being K-R-I-S-P-Y, Krispie. Apparently, apparently Rice Krispie Treats is C-R-I-S-P, and not a Y, but I-E-S. Rice Krispies Treats. Rice Krispies treat. It's not, it's not grammatically correct. It doesn't sound right. It's signs that it's not right. It's just not right. It's, it's wrong. That one's not, that doesn't get me very much. But for those of you who grew up in the next one, for those of you who grew up going to Chuck E. Cheese, I know I did. I remember my parents hated Chuck E. Cheese. But I liked it, so we went. I've only been, like, a few times. It wasn't, like, a... I always went to Chuck E. Cheese. I went for, like, birthday parties. And I remember, like, I loved the pizza. But I'm pretty sure the pizza's disgusting. But anyway. Chuck E. Cheese is now Chuck E. Cheese's. So if you drive past the Chuck E. Cheese, these signs all now say Chuck E. Cheese's. Chuck E. Cheese's. That just doesn't sound right. And it doesn't, like, someone out there has to agree with me that it was Chuck E. Cheese and it was always Chuck E. Cheese. Now, this next one, I'm iffy on. I would need to see it to believe it. But Cup of Noodles, I don't have any. There's Top Ramen in my, cup, in my cupboard thing, my, yeah, whatever you call those, drawer, whatever. There's no cup of noodles. Cup of noodles, apparently, is cup noodles. Why? 
why why would you why why would that even it doesn't even make sense it doesn't that's not even i'm just gonna not even gonna bother another one all of these have to do with spelling man it's all spelling except for like two of them the next one is oscar myers like oscar meyer hot dogs now i don't eat hot dogs but i my, my family does and I used to, like, when I was younger. And I remember Oscar Myers being M-E-Y-E-R-S. Or M-E-Y-E-R. I don't remember exactly if it was an S or not. But it's apparently M-A-Y-E-R. Mayor? Oscar Mayor? It's not. No, that's not right. There was a song, and I, I do remember the song, that went, like, the whole, like, the commercially song. I forget how it goes now. I just had it, but like the song and they spell out Oscar Meyer. No, no. If you listen to the song, it's M-A-Y-E-R, not M-E-Y-E-R. I just, no, that's not right. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I haven't gotten to the one that's really, really like no, absolutely not. Like, no way. I have, like, three more before I'm there. The next one is the bear. Bear that, like, with the forests, and you see, like, the forest fire level today is high or low, like, the signs with the bear. Okay? The bear's name, Smokey the Bear. Okay? Everyone knows him as Smokey the Bear. When you were in elementary school, they always taught you about Smokey the Bear. Well, his name's not Smokey the Bear. It's Smokey Bear. How that makes any sense at all beats me, but it's Smokey Bear. Is it Smokey the Bear? Smokey Bear. What? This one, very, very new one. I got this from a Shane Dawson and Tana Mojo video. It was on Shane's page. I just watched like two seconds ago right before this video. The song Deck the Halls. Deck the halls with balls of holly, fa la 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 la. No. It's deck the hall. Like, like a singular hall. One hall. Deck the hall. No, it's not. I, it's not. This next one. I have yet to be able to find. Now, this movie has been on recently a lot, but every time that I change the channel and I see that it's on, it's like already past the point that I need to actually watch. The very original Snow White movie, like the 1937, I think was the year it came out, like the very original one. Like if you go and you find a VH, 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 VHS, you won't find a VHS tape of Snow White and Seven Dwarfs, and you listen to it, this one actually, like, fucked me up a lot. But at the same time, I haven't been able to go back and watch it to actually, like, be like, what? So, everybody remembers Mirror Mirror on the Wall. Like, it's always Mirror Mirror on the Wall. All of the, like, new Snow White movies, all of the re- the remakes, the plays, the musicals, everything. It's always mirror, mirror. In the new movie, newish movie, Disney Channel, Descendants, it's mirror, mirror. Mirror, mirror. If you go back and you watch Snow White, the original Snow White, she never says mirror, mirror. She says magic mirror. Magic mirror on the wall. A mirror, mirror magic mirror. When do you ever remember anybody ever saying magic mirror? This is one that I like strongly, definitely, if I were to go back and watch it and it said magic mirror, I'd be like, no freaking way is that the case. It's not magic mirror. Everybody says mirror mirror. It's like one of those catchphrases that everyone knows is mirror mirror. No one has ever said magic mirror. Ever. 
the Mandela effect has me so fucked up. It's not even funny. Okay, the last one, which is right underneath Mirror Mirror. Like, this is, like, the second one that, like, seriously fucked me up. The Monopoly Man. Or Guy, or whatever you call him. Like, the, the, the guy on the logo from, like, the, the literal, like, face of Monopoly. Now, I... Monopoly is my favorite board game. It always has been my favorite board game. And I dominate Monopoly. I either dominate Monopoly or I suck. Okay, it depends on who I'm playing with and my luck of the game. But I've always played Monopoly. I stayed up till three in the morning when I was like 10 with my cousins who were three years younger than me and my brother playing Monopoly until we were like, okay, we're done. Monopoly is my childhood game and I still play it all the time. I remember the Monopoly guy having a monocle, okay? Like, the, the he's a millionaire. Millionaires have monocles. People that dress up as the Monopoly guy for Halloween and everything, they have a monocle. Like, go on Google Images, look up pictures. They have a monocle. Like, he has a monocle. But any image of the Monopoly guy that you find that isn't someone dressing up as him, there's no monocle. I have... This board game is not the very original one, but it's one of the very, very older ones. It's from uh, 2007, and it's all beaten up. But I have the guy, no monocle. There's no monocle. There, there's no, not even on the, nothing. There's nothing. The dice doesn't have it. Like, there, there's, the monocle doesn't exist. This game is from 2007. And I guarantee you that anybody out there, if you have like the original, I know there are some people I know that have the original Monopoly board game, go look at it. Prove me wrong. Prove to me that there is a monocle because there is not a freaking monocle on this board game and it seriously fucks me up. Just, I can't. I can't with the Mandela effect. And there are so many other ones that I've definitely missed and there are ones that I've like, the Jif peanut butter, this, I don't totally agree with this one. Like, everybody has memories of there being Jif and Jiffy. There's only Jif. There's no Jiffy peanut butter. I think the confusion there was Skippy and Jif. That's why I'm not totally, like, sold on that one. There are a lot. There's, like, Looney Tunes um, is spelled T-U-N-E-S when it was originally T-O-O-N-S. Or Tunes? E-S? Something like that. I don't know that I believe that one. I mean, I grew my mom, my mom grew up watching Looney Tunes and absolutely loves Looney Tunes. And I grew up watching it too, but I didn't pay, pay close enough attention to the spelling. But if I ask her how it's spelled, she'll tell me and then it will end up being wrong. So I'm, I'm going to do probably another Mandela Effect video when I get new Mandela Effect conspiracies. And I might do one with my mom. Um, and it won't be scripted at all. This wasn't scripted either, really. It was just kind of, I wrote a list so that I didn't forget. But I will not tell her what I'm doing. I'm just saying I'm doing a video for YouTube. And if you need you here, she'll be totally like, I have no idea what we're doing. I'll ask her questions about all of these or some of them. Ask her how things are spelled, whatever. See what she says. And we'll see how many of them she remembers being one way and now they're not. And yeah, I think that'll be tons of fun. So for now, that is my Mandela Effect video. And the reason I'm not like freaking out over all of these is because it's late and my dad is trying to sleep. Otherwise, I'd probably be screaming right now with the fact that these are not, this isn't how they are. They're just, they're, they're wrong. They're just wrong. So... Leave in the comments section any that you think are wrong, you think are right, if you agree with me on certain ones like the Rubik's Cube one, the Mirror Mirror seriously like freaking has me like it was never magic mirror. I don't know what you're thinking. Basically all of these really have me like this isn't this isn't how it was. This was never ever ever how it was. Some of them I paid more attention to than others to realize that Okay, this is definitely not it. And then others, it's just kind of like me thinking about it. It's like, no, that's wrong. Like it's spelt wrong. It's not, it's not right. So the one that got you fucked up the most, leave in the comments what it was and why. If you have any Mandela effects 
that I did not mention that you think should be mentioned in an other video, let me know and I will do that. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel and I know no one has because I don't have any subscribers on this channel because I just made it. Um, so this is what it's going to be. It's going to be talking videos on Mandela Effect, story times. I'm going to start doing like uh, spoken word poetry and that kind of stuff about like issues and things. So if you have any ideas for videos you want me to do, either alone or with someone else, let me know. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you're for the Mandela Effect and totally like on board with the whole thing or even partial. There are some Mandela Effects I don't believe, but for the most part, yeah. So that is it. I will talk to you guys next video. Have a fantastic day, night, afternoon, whenever you watch this, and I will see you guys.